Welcome to this Kundalini and light body energy transmission. Just connect to the energy. And now through your screen, take a breath. Reach out with your energy and just connect. Some people sell Kundalini activation is this thrilling experience. You lie on the floor and someone sends energy and your body moves and you have releases of emotions energies rise you get pleasurable sensations yet at the same time it's also gives this work, this art, this craft, this science a bad name. People who do this, who go on a short, quick course, learn to activate the energy because everybody can. Some people take time to tune into the energy. When they do this, they don't comprehend fully what it's for, perhaps. They don't master the energy and control it inside. So they just have this on-off switch. Of course, as you probably know, I now offer a course that teaches you how to master your energy. The link to that course is in the description below. I'm not trying to sell you the course here, we're just talking about these energies. Whilst you can receive this as an experience one time, This is the beginning of a journey. Whether through simple Kundalini activation or what is pranic energy. Whether once someone has awakened their Kundalini, you can send cosmic energy, cosmic Kundalini energy. As explained in the Tantras and the Upanishads. And then with the light body connection. Connection to those strands of energy, communications, insights, foresights. This is a path of spiritual awakening. This is a path of healing. For you, if you choose to learn how to use these energies, for the people, the clients that you facilitate for, it is said to be in the ancient texts the purest form of spiritual awakening. It's not all love and light and happy and fun. Of course, you can have amazing experiences. Yet with all the ups, there are downs. You'll have to face your fears, face your shadows, whether you wish to or not. You'll be forced 
confront your ego, your programming. It's what your ego is, it's your programming. And if you don't, if you don't release it, conflicts will arise within you. And this is when you can have experiences like the dark night of the soul. And things like the Nalini syndrome arise. This is not a game. It's not a thrill, it's not a ride, it's not just a one-time experience. Be deep and profound. When you activate and awaken your energies, what can happen with you? Well, here's a little experiment for you. You have a garden, or perhaps you live in an apartment or a flat and you have some plants and pots. Just connect to your energy. You don't have to connect to the plants, you can if you wish. Just connect with the plants around you, connect to the energy with the plants around you. And do this every day and see what happens to the plants. Of course, don't send them energy and stop watering them. Just see what happens. Connect your energy with your pets around. Some pets might go a little bit hyper with the energy, but others will actually start coming and asking for it. It's very calming for them. I don't often talk about what this energy can do, what quantum healing energy can do. It's well documented. However, of course, we have to be careful about making any claims. Thus, it's far better to go about it in a scientific way and test it for yourself. Draw your own conclusions and see how far it can go. The ancient texts say it will awaken the cities. Psychic abilities, superpowers, whatever you want to call them. That's what the ancient texts say. It's gaining the ability of foresight. I mean, invisible. Well, that may not be perhaps physically your body invisible. That could be understood through astral projection. Being able to move around without being seen. Coming as large as you wish or as small as you wish. These are just the cities. There are many more. Look them up. Of course, there's the city of flight, which people love. They say it's impossible to fly. But again, this energy allows you to astral project. You can fly in astral projection. Perhaps we shouldn't take these things literally. Perhaps we should. It's for you to test, to work on, to see. There are stories from the East, people being able to do amazing things. 
course, when they can, they keep to themselves. Again, for obvious reasons, making no claims, telling no one. connect to this energy you'll see I'm not using my hands. This is not breaking. Remember, you can hit that subscribe button. The more people that subscribe to the channel, the more it's liked, the more comments we get. The more this means it can be shared with more people. More people can experience this. And just by doing those things, enjoy this energy. Just doing your part and passing it forwards. Cause and effect. Some people call the law of attraction is cause and effect. One action leads to another action. It's called paying it forwards. Namaste.